Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here, yet another three-string cigar box guitar lesson. I was just kind of noodling around on my favorite three-string here, and I came up with this riff, and I thought, what the heck? Let's go ahead and do a video on this one. So I'm starting out here using my thumb and my first finger and my second finger, and I'm doing what I call a claw hammer. I've got my pinky sort of anchoring on the guitar here. So I'm using my first two fingers and my thumb, anchoring with my pinky. positions and doing this riff so we'll start out here barring on that fifth fret and my thumb is on the third string my first finger is on the second string and my second finger is on the third string so I'm choking as I'm picking so what that means is after I pick the notes I'm going back down to pick more notes and that automatically chokes the notes off if that makes any sense the picking style, in other words, creates that funky, choppy rhythm. So I'm starting out with my thumb on the third string, and I'm moving over to the second string. So when I start out, I do a down with my thumb, and I do an up with my first and second fingers, and up strum, I guess you would say, or maybe a claw hammer pull. At the same time, I'm moving my pinky from the third string to the second to the first string. You put the two together and it's real funky. slow jag <laughs> so here's the basic movement that I'm doing I'm going from the top two strings to the bottom string with my thumb so my first and second finger are always claw hammering two strings at a time moving this finger back and forth between the third, second, and first string. All right, so real slow. If you watch this hand, I'm just basically moving my thumb from the third string to the second string and then I'm using my first and second finger on the first string. So you can tell I'm moving from the third string with my pinky to the second string with my pinky to the first string with my pinky. And you just keep on going down, up, down, up, down, up with your right hand. So, close up and real slow. changing it up unintentionally here but the basic idea is just to keep on moving between the first string and the second and the third with my left hand I'm only barring all the way across and I'm only using my pinky for the other fretting I'm not fretting with the second or third finger at all and on this one 
one, I'm just on the right hand, I'm going back and forth. I'm just moving back and forth between the third string with my thumb, the second string, and the first string. Right? Which is G, A, B, C. Now I'm going to jump down here and I'm playing the first finger on the third string, second, and first. I'm doing the exact same finger picking pattern with my right hand. either the third string, the second, or the first on that third fret. And I'm doing the same picking pattern I did up here when I barred up here. So this hand does the same thing all the way through. make up your own pattern but this is a cool exercise it strengthens your fingers it also helps with your calluses on the tips of your fingers and it helps to separate your fingers like this when you do the finger picking it's a good idea to do a lot of different finger picking exercises and this is a great exercise i also love to start out slow and then speed up so i might do something like this <laughs> fretboard here go all the way up to say the 12th fret that's an octave higher I just did the same riff on the 12th fret and all the way down here on the zero fret is you're choking all the notes simply by the way you're picking. Let's just go down here to the open. I'm using that third fret. So I'm going to show you what this looks like real slow. The simple fact that I'm using these fingers and picking helps me choke off the previous strings, the previous notes. So have fun with that.
yet, please check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars since 2004, 20 years. And we'll see you next time.